What up? This is Ultimate back at it again. I'm gonna watch the, the For Honor dev stream July 30th. Are right, they gonna? I think they're gonna show the character. So let's let me just pause. Lawbringer's armor and pretty much melted. Yeah, it had to get that screenshot, own. baby. So had to get that screenshot, did you say baby. The Rawmongers did something similar, or how did they come up? Because like their armor set is very very unique. I personally love it. So I feel like it's yeah, the mix sure of you, you yeah, Warden was not in the, the Long in the Daddy's section, armor. Yeah. Yeah, on top did, of that, uh, with sin, a little bit of armors, sin in it. Because, yeah, Wait till the gameplay gets, uh, guys. So I'm gonna get the gameplay. This is the first taste All of right. what you will experience. The warmonger, baby, let's go. The others, uh, but let's get into her chains uh, with uh, starting with the first video, maybe, and, and tell us a little the bit about baby. Uh, her kit. All right, so she's a vanguard. So it's pretty simple. Uh, we start off with light, light, heavy. The last heavy has uh, eye armor, uh, uninterruptible okay. stance. So. <laughs> So uh, don't hit her with you the heavy the armor, chain, which would be uh, so yeah, light so, heavy yeah. a second ago. Light light top heavy. Like, light, light it's heavy. still light heavy, but light, yeah, light the, top heavy. Can see that the lights are enhanced, so they're not interrupted on block. I'm getting close to a little bit of T Andy right there because T Andy <laughs> he'll do an attack. <laughs> that you know he'll have a, like heavy, an armor a little light, bit. Light heavy and heavy heavy are, are the stuff you're seeing there. Yeah. Uh, peculiarities uh uninterruptible stance on the finisher as you saw always and armor on the, on the on the second though or on the first the heavy which you'll see will be so, very interesting in a moment gotcha indeed so to the so, last chain oh yeah we can see we can chain off the zone attack as well and finally you can chain off the zone attack okay and then beautiful execution oh my okay. lord okay. Okay, okay, she, she went really through the deal. All right, that's uh, that's no joke. Oh my god, <laughs> the <laughs> deal. Okay, cool. Uh, that's the basic thing. And now okay, we got some centurion here. Like yeah, to the blockable which is basically attack. Basically, a, a variable timing bash. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's available after the light, so it's pretty important that our lights are enhanced for this reason. And you can also do it off a side dodge. And Wait, can you dodge. cancel it? Yep, so either light uh, okay. basically accesses this one. So you can see that it's really interesting. She's got a lot of intros to her. I need to uh, get on for pressure. honor this week uh, and grind you for 15, 50 steel, 15,000 steel. Attack, light accesses, heavy light accesses, light accesses, dodge accesses. Uh, super cool, super cool. And even as for. Put, Go ahead. <laughs> Even off our other special moves that we're gonna see in a second. Exactly, and as you see in the cloud, you can you can. Uh, Woo! Was that a side well. heavy? Saw him block. So what's this now? So she got a dodge. Of it's based of uh, one of uh, so Apollyon's moves from the campaign. It's a dodge. It's a dodge heavy. The one from the campaign was completely unusable. At like fifteen hundred MS, I think. Jesus so Christ! No wonder they put it on her. Test, but... Yeah. <laughs> That was insane. Uh, it yeah, sounded so insane. It's accessible from a dodge. So it's basically just a, a side slash. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, a side, a side, a side, it's got side good dodge, trajectories. Okay. It's a bit slow, but at least uh, you can find it. You can chain off of it. Uh, and because of the trajectories, it should be pretty decent in group fights. Okay. Yep, it'll definitely cause pressure uh, even when she's just near you. All so right, that's really all right, cool. All right. All right, and then we got the front dodge heavy, which is uh, basically oh, a you can't attack, stop that. But it follows, as you can see from the blue feedback, it's undodgeable. It's undodgeable. So yeah. those undodgeable pesky roller right <laughs> are not gonna get away from you. Oh no! Oh, oh lord! No oh no! You can't stay here or whatever she yells. Uh, I'll just die. You're gonna yeah, die. <laughs> Y'all been our right. super yeah. roll, boys. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and of course it chains into your uh, your light or your heavy uh, as others. And as you saw there, it can be fainted. Everything can be oh fainted. Oh my lord. <laughs> Holy shit. The, Whoa. The it didn't do that much Which damage. Is, uh, accessible after parry, kind of similar to the Lawbringer. Law Daddy, yeah. So I told you she got a little Law Daddy in her. I told you. I told you. Unless there's a wall, in which case. Boom. Oh my lord! Plus Twenty bleed damage. <laughs> so so I got a little that, vibe that of gladiator a little bit too because the gladiator dude is when it, it pairs. Only, and, when it, uh, only, yeah. when you, um, only when you own. Only when you own. Pretty savage. <laughs> Not pair, but you know. Just got one more cool version here. 
Oh my so lord! She we know we know it kind of sucks if with uh, your lawbringer you parry someone, they fall on the yeah, ground, you try to impale, she nothing got the happens. Gladiator thing, but so only gladiator, he, has he a got a deflect to do in it. In that case, which will always do the wall splat version, basically. So you're she always gonna she, apply yeah, that she'll admit of all, all at least every warrior in here. In revenge. At least every warrior in here. That was a little gladiator um attack like that I mean, I mean it's because like basically is it, wait is that a stamina oh never mind it's not a stamina but yeah she got a scent uh, situation there when, when you're out of armor the wall, in the you just like an automatically uh, attack yes, now does it does it uh, feel free to wreck him there yeah yeah she does she got a uh, centurion uh, move oh so I think we're gonna see oh, a beautiful Lord. execution oh my oh my lord oh my god Dude, yeah, but now let's get into the oh my god she got tier yes. one feet right now what the hell was that, that? Seeing, correct what so is that? this is pretty brutal we 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 did a lot of iteration on oh our my lord so as you can see if you I enter circle you both of your it, health is going down it looks like no just feet four that's broken but no actually is that that's too broken of a Poison thing. On oh your my lord! Corruption and potentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary. Uh, this feat is scary. To the friend, gotta go in. But that's very challenging, though. Yeah. That's quite. So first that's quite damage, a challenge. And now they're apart. So they're oh apart. my lord! It hurt the minions. <laughs> That is God, broken. It's like the black oh clay. Oh my just lord! To on this is that this must really be. Oh my shaping. lord! Hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? I think we're in tier two. Yeah, we are. Yeah. So our tier two and three um, aren't doing anything by themselves. What they do is that oh they my give God. no longer a passive ability whenever she's fighting somebody that is corrupted. Oh, so no. So in this case, V2 means oh, that you're healing no. a portion of the damage. Two, as so you many, can see on her life bar, so many toxic the damage that she's She healing, is toxic. Which gives her an advantage in the, in the 1v1. She is hella toxic. Corrupted them, which means that her heavy is doing more damage. Oh my lord. And uh, yeah, that's pr pretty straightforward. <laughs> uh, it also means that your corruption damage is going to be higher. So if you compare both left and right, right having access to defeat, you see that it's doing slightly more damage. Oh my and god. And will kill the dude. target. The more Her feet are insane. So, so just, <laughs> oh my lord! Right? <laughs> oh my lord! So so stop, you <laughs> the AOEs. But yeah, this is insane. Yeah, She's gonna be hella toxic. Over, 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 and they can triple now. Let's right. take a look. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, wow. Yeah, and so, <laughs> and, and, and in this scenario, like. You should, uh, baby, let's go. Warmonger armor that, set. You know, let's do this. Be accustomed to from the get go um, and represent the leader, this. right? For, right. For let's the do orcos. this. Yeah. So there are a lot, quite a lot of uh, golden trims and ornamentations, and then the helmet design is a uh, very much influenced by the Polians. You can see it. I guess she's only uh, female, but it still so. has uh, its own uniqueness. Wait a minute, I got uh, two. The, the main focus is on it this male and one female? is uh, to give. Uh, I think it's male and female. Uh, uh, two complementary designs. They don't look like it, it looks glorious, but at the same time, it looks kind of corrupted, and it's attractive, also deadly, and also beautiful, but kind of dark. But I'm saying that there's uh, two options, meaning as you can kind of see there's a small difference from the left to right. You see there's uh, the hair is over. Yeah, so Centurion the shoulder pads the right there. Has, uh, the one there without, Centurion there's Centurion pads version. right there. Yeah, there's obviously difference in details over here. The horns uh, or the antlers, I should say, on the on the right side, which are absolutely Correct. insane. And slowly it's kind of I like the helmets, though, especially the, one of the spiky uh, ones. The fantastic the part spiky part helmet. Of, uh, that, this of, getting, of this our, one on uh, the right gave me the, the, that arm. Um, Let's see. Lord Hades is vibe true. from God of War. Yeah, Give me that. Of course, there are little vibe right there. Of, uh, this it's helmet. A very... This one's really, really interesting. It do look good though. It do look Different good. Different pattern. It's and, so and odd. Almost, you almost know, this mask, like, you know, these like helmets friendly, remind me of the uh, Reapers. Let's not forget that this the Reapers is the Reapers' um, helmets so, when they fight. You know, the Reapers with that. the little pointy just the stick sword. Yeah, the decoration. Got a little Reaper helmet right there. Question. I'm gonna do a little uh, cutting and editing when I do this. When I upload this, do a uh, lot of cutting. It was kind of inspired a by lot of the, the movie track. Inspired by the the Jousting Knight. Mm -hmm. uh, the technically it was not possible just for us to, only. to create it, but then there was a modification okay. that we made it so it looks as uh, the, the really they uh, existed in real life armor in uh, medieval times. Mm. So, mm. It's not something just out of our context. 
like on, on this yeah, legendary armor for there. everyone. <gasps> uh, what can you they tell us actually about this giving us the Apollyon armor? Warmongers now. No way. Yes. Well, we cannot say uh, Warmongers without saying Apollyon. So. Oh so my like look God! This, this armor. So oh my Lord! Shiny Apollyon set here. Unreal. Well, since, since we wanted this to get that armor as it is, oh uh, my lord, look at this one, armor! Uh, the alternative is oh my lord, limited or uh, oh my for lord, let me stop, y'all, let me stop. So for the variation, we opened up more possibility for players to apply uh, more alternative materials. Unreal! I really like this Jeez, one. Jeez, and dude, again, it still keeps to the core is of sexy. what Apollyon stands for, and it's different. Your hero activity. Oh Incredible. my yes. lord! <laughs> this armor, Lord <laughs> Jesus! Yeah, the details on this armor, though. Yeah, this armor. Oh my god! Yeah, well, Walmart got a chest. Oh, huh? look at that chest! Kind of Wait, hold on! Look at that chest over here. Make this hold armor. up the chest over here. She had a chest on her. This is another one that. As a more ornamentation, more uh, engravings. So I ain't gonna lie, yeah. Go back up. Look at this chest. Look at this chest. This chest. Look at it. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Big word. Uh, do you know? Uh, I could do a quick I Google research if you would <laughs> like me to. It's, I think it's called the Zvi Hunt. Oh, it's why I'm, I'm, I can't pronounce it, but I know what you're talking about. Hang on, let yeah. me let me get this for you guys as you guys take a look. Hang on. I, I think uh, they both have a similar. Yeah, go ahead. Flammenschwert? What? No, it's it's no. like Zwei Handler. Zwei is Zwei Handler. Z W E I. Google has failed me. Is that what you're telling me right now? <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> well, getting back to the uh, Warmonger's Blade. Uh, so this this one's uh, Warmonger's mm, Blade introduces a, a, no a bit slow uh, transition of uh, right, color, uh, uh, juicy, uh, color and culture uh, evolutions. And also, like how the the culture will uh, mix by using a uh, very traditional night hilt and the and the blade part that is uh, strongly influenced by uh, Eastern culture. I mean, uh, the Flam Birch also has this uh, wavy blade, but there was a, a very interesting one that I found it uh, from, uh, it's, I think its name is a Chris. It's a dagger, but then the, the wave is uh, even more extreme and it kind of looks like a, a, a snake. This That's one here with the black swan at the top, right? One of the symbols that you weren't able to describe uh, at the top of the show, but that we talked about with it is but, yeah, uh, exactly. unreal. Yeah. So as, as you can see, it, like one of the unique uh, intention for all this weapon set is it's, it's to attract others. Because uh, as you can Ooh. see, there's a lot of ornamentation, that a lot little, of uh, nice stuff. A lot of designs here, all right. Also, it's okay, okay. to kill when when the when the persuasion didn't work the, doesn't work so you're yeah. saying that this is this is like a way for the warmongers to draw uh people to their cause in terms of the order of horkos and 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 what they believe in by kind of showing off their their wealth and their style and all of that stuff exactly to get Very the attention of it wow yeah i mean it, it's uh, as, as you saw it like pretty much most of them but then the black swan these weapons are getting uh, quite, 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 it, quite interesting. There is a sleek better. and elegant type of uh, visual. At the same time, uh, it contains a uh, dark, mysterious, and deadly feeling. Mm. It's, it, the, the weapon itself uh, has uh, two purposes: like persuasion and kill. And killing, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I feel like killing is at the basis of every weapon, but. <laughs> um, Oh, this one is absolutely phenomenal. I'm personally a big fan of this type of stuff that's like, you know, very unique in terms of the design. Yeah. Different different colors that make it seem so shiny and pretty. I really like this one. Because they look like oh, with thorns the rose. with the vines. Unreal. Yeah. Uh, JK, this one's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, this was it. <laughs> this what I want to see right here. This what I want to see right here. What's this? There What's will this? be a lot of. Uh, it's kind of ambig. There's ambiguity mm. uh, between good and evil with with mm -hmm. these uh, weapons, and people can easily get tricked by the visual, and you don't really kind of read 
what's what's behind it. But there are a lot of uh, figurative elements in these weapons. Like Black Swan was one of them. Uh, snake, which meant as uh, the wisdom and the evil. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some roses, uh, rose meant as a beauty and the trap. There's mm -hmm. a thorn at, at, the, at the bottom, so it was a pretty fun one. And again, you know, the, the, the Shengdu team uh, did an amazing job. Yeah, kudos to them. Really, really beautiful. And this is a look at the full collection for the Warmongers okay, again. Full collection. Um, All right, let me you know, pause it right here. Just so many different options. For oh, these no. weapons are more uh, weapons. Uh, Lord, the Jesus. one that is got corrupted. So the corrupted we, weapons. The, wow, the that's we, the gladiators. The, the, that the first one was the warlord a, uh, from the previous season. He had a little crow for his shield, season, which the is previous quite nice. Ones that we had, we had it for uh, alchemies. There were kind of red gems. When in each was the the jorm, which you don't remember, okay, but there there they were like uh, the, the red gems on each weapons, which is the dragon knight. Okay. We couldn't say at Shaman. the time, but the, now I can kind of say mm. that's that's the source that where it get, gets uh, corrupted. And, what is this? Uh, the the uh, Highlander. We uh, change the that gem that got to be Highlander colors, and that's the where it, all the uh, corruption spreads. So material-wise, uh, Draconite yeah, is a, a little dark like green gem, and and or uh, the, wardens. the 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 metals get Could have been rusted. The uh, Highlanders got a bigger sword. I gotta be the, the warden. This is the raider. The leathers get worn out, and for the color-wise, uh, we use a lot of desaturated colors. Okay. Overall, like there's there are gold, black, toxic greens, and the rusted orange or mm -hmm. blood red, which doesn't makes people comfortable yeah no it's definitely off-putting and again like with the narrative again with the corruption that's coming with Who's the Walmart uh, like say you, you fully represented Kensei. what this means if you were to use that yep, corruption the on Kensei. the weapon Look how long just be right from the get-go you can it stands exactly no wait that's the Kensei. say the first the other one was the Orochi oh, excuse man, me those, those holes make me feel uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> now there's the many, many aspects you know it's a collective unconscious that makes people uncomfortable uh, we should have put the, the viewers uh, discretion before oh God. we execute this <laughs> well, his name is Shinobi, people excuse might me. not be happy yeah, to okay Aramusha it's Aramusha sword but that it's menacing though like you know you like even again Ooh, every time you have a big surface to play with we saw oh my with the Viking God, that blade like, uh, um, oh, the Hitakiri's weapon here, which is, you oh, know, always Lord. a beautiful <laughs> canvas for you guys to do it. And again, you guys can really explore the range of this theme fully. And that's exactly what you guys have done. By, by using the treatment of uh, rust, we're now wrinkles, uh, the textures that, that the naturally spreads, like rust is one of them, but also it's, uh, when there's a marble, there's a kind of texture that spreads. Or the uh, the okay, root Shigoki. of the tree and the rose vine, that that kind of that those were the great reference for us to inspire and and and, and, and uh, to visually explain the corruptions. Mm -hmm. Unreal. Now taking a look at Conqueror's shield, absolutely sick with the vines and everything. Just damn nice corruption. Bombs. So ever, ever so present. It's a bit more fantastic than mm -hmm. what we used to produce. Is that bun mm -hmm. That's the loud daddy. Loud daddy. Damn, this thing is so long, dude. I'm gonna have to cut some stuff, man. Snake. I'm gonna have to no cut bro. some stuff. Yeah, dude. no bro. <laughs> And this is another weapon for Warmonger. Nice. Whoo! Oh my lord! I think this, you guys saw it, it's an uh, event. Oh my god! We've is that the Black Briar's weapon? That is sick! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! <laughs> and I still did it. Oh, Curry. That's Valkyrie, uh, Valkyrie right there. 
Uh, glad uh, gladiator. gladiator. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my bad. My no, bad. it's okay. You got hit with the mix up. Oh <laughs> yeah. my god! All this, all this corruption is corrupting <laughs> my vision here. Yeah. <laughs> it was the we all messed up on that one. That's sense, okay, Satyria, my boy. That is Highlander. I gotta be Highlander. This is none by Highlander right here. And we're finishing with the bush peacekeeper. peacekeeper. Yeah, peacekeeper. They gonna finish out the peacekeeper. And now the last faction, okay. the Wu Lin. Okay. Starting off with the Tiandi. Tiandi. Shoot, you know. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna definitely have to do some oh. cuts. Some egg. Oh my god. Oh. oh man, those those holes. <laughs> yeah, huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> My, my corruption my weapons. Phobia? I think that's what you call it. Yeah, yeah trypophobia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, at least also has it. Oh yeah. Oh man, yep. I get like bubble. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> oh, the noosh. Clarice oh. <laughs> is not even looking at the camera. Man. I saw it. I was like, oh, that's great. JJ, <laughs> no, nice. It's, it's I like the little, because, like, little uh, wave you know, there. I mean, it's very I like, subtle. I like it's not JJ's like you're trying on. to close nice that, but going on. it goes along with the theme of, you know, discomfort because it's corruption and icky and it's like, uh, so. It represents this like, oh, story <laughs> moment in, in, in the For Honor kind of chapter here with the, the, What's going on, like, live? This is the collection, and this is a perfect way to kind right, of end it. this segment in the sense that, you know, and this is where right, the event pass will be available. So this as you guys this, play and progress, you'll it. have uh, I'm, basically I'm going, access to all of these that's, things that's, as that's you would the, um, from the Battle Pass track. That's, um, that's, so yo, that's for three Lord, weeks. So Lord. you want to play as much as you can to get as far as you can in this event track. It's gone. But I think that about does it for the video. Andrew, want to thank you so much for taking